You're watching the news on Bahrain International. I'm Mohamed Shaban. Good evening. Under the patronage of the representative of His Majesty the King for Humanitarian Work and Youth Affairs, Honorary President of the Royal Equestrian and Endurance Federation, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, delayed His Highness Sheikh Faisal bin Hamad Al Khalifa Championship for purebred Arabian horses came to a close, which was organized by the Royal Equestrian and Endurance Federation. His Highness Sheikh Nasser affirmed that the success of this event is an incentive to continue to organize similar championships as part of the development plan aimed at increasing the promotion of Bahraini production, noting that this championship reflects positively on the successful Bahraini participation. He noted that the championship is considered a milestone in the purebred Arabian horses beauty sport, which always witnesses a wide participation and strong and exciting competition in which the exhibitors distinguish the features and beauty of their horses. His Highness expressed his appreciation for the wide participation in the championship and its production in the best organizational form in light of the efforts made by the Royal Equestrian and Endurance Federation headed by His Highness Sheikh Isa bin Abdullah Al Khalifa, also praising the keenness of the owner and stables and educators to participate extensively in the championship. He congratulated all the winners in the championship in various categories, praising the high capabilities that the owners, stables and educators possess. The president of the Sustainable Energy Authority, Abdul Hussein bin Ali Mirza, affirmed that the Green Building Guide is a proactive and important step in the history of the Kingdom of Bahrain and the region, as it contains a basic reference for all sectors with regards to the special standards and requirements that must be adhered to when applying for new building permits. This step encourages and contributes to building more efficient buildings with less energy consumption, which saves an estimated rate of 20 to 30 percent of electrical, electrical and energy water, as the Green Building Guide contains 10 mandatory requirements and 64 optional requirements, noting that meeting the optional standards increases the market value. He added that work is currently underway in coordination with the Ministry of Forks, Municipalities, Affairs and Urban Planning to prepare complementary policies to the Green Building Guide through which buildings will be classified according to their energy and water savings and their compliance with the mandatory and optional requirements included in the Green Building Guide. He affirmed that green building classification policies will be one of the most important and basic tools for evaluating investments in various buildings, as well as determining investment returns from integrating renewable energy solutions in buildings to improve energy efficiency. The Minister of Industry, Commerce and Tourism, Zaid bin Rashid Zayani, stressed the importance of following the precautionary measures announced previously to limit the spread of the coronavirus with the advent of the blessed month of Ramadan and the active movement in markets and restaurants. Zayani said that the ministry has intensified its efforts to secure the supply of appropriate quantities of various commodities, especially Ramadan-related ones, stressing that the local market has a great abundance of goods with a wide variety and that prices will remain the same. The minister stressed the need for shops and restaurants to put in place plans and 
and measures to ensure a safe environment for their visitors through implementation and adherence to the measures stipulated to limit the spread of the virus. The Ministry of Industry, Commerce and Tourism continues to intensify inspection and monitoring campaigns with the aim of ensuring that stores, restaurants, cafes and markets are applying the health requirements, procedures and measures issued by the National Task Force for Combating the Coronavirus and the relevant authorities in a way that contributes to limiting the spread of the virus. The Ministry stated that monitoring and awareness raising field visits are continuing in all governorates of the Kingdom of Bahrain, especially the places that are highly popular with citizens and residents, ensuring that all legal and administrative procedures decided against violating stores will be applied and stressing the importance of communicating any violation to the ministry's inspection department. The Bahrain Chamber of Commerce and Industry affirmed the availability of food stocks of foodstuff in an adequate and stable manner. The chairman of the Food Wealth Committee, Khaled El Amin, said that the pace of imports operations for these commodities is proceeding in a high and continuous flow according to the market's needs for goods. He noted that the stocks of these materials will meet the local needs for several months, indicating that there are many food shipments on their way to the kingdom to supply the markets with the main necessary commodities. He also stressed that the chamber is keen to support government agencies regarding all decisions and measures taken by the government to support the availability of goods and their price stability. Bahrain merchants had signed a document committing them not to raise prices during the blessed month of Ramadan, which aims to support purchasing power and maintain market stability as well as safeguard consumers' rights. The CEO of the Bahrain Tourism and Exhibition Authority, Dr. Nasser Qaidi, affirmed the authority's readiness to operate in the most effective manner with the upcoming stage during which the tourism activity in Bahrain and the region is gradually resuming. Noting that the authority will continue to promote the Kingdom of Bahrain as a leading tourist destination, highlighting the Kingdom's tourism potentials and enhancing the sector's contributions to the GDP within the framework of Bahrain Economic Vision 2030. Dr. Qaidi valued the support provided by the government for tourism facilities as part of the support to the sector's most affected by the repercussions of the pandemic, stressing that this support contributes to enhancing opportunities for economic stability, financial sustainability and rapid recovery of the tourism sector. The Ministry of Foreign Affairs strongly condemns the Iranian-backed terrorist Houthi militia launching a ballistic missile towards the city of Jaizan in the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia, targeting innocent civilians in a clear violation of international humanitarian law. The Ministry of Foreign Affairs praises the efficiency and vigilance of the coalition forces supporting legitimacy in Yemen that were able to intercept and destroy the missile, affirming the solidarity of the Kingdom of Bahrain with the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia and all measures it takes to deter the Houthi militia and protect its security, stability and territorial integrity. The national vaccination campaign continues to witness a wide turnout of citizens and residents. The Ministry of Health announced that 586,279 had taken the first dose of the vaccine, while 456,184 had taken the second. The ministry renewed its call for the community to commit to all precautionary measures and take the initiative to register for the coronavirus vaccination. Meanwhile, the Ministry of Health said today that the number of active coronavirus cases reached 11,325 with 1,020 recoveries and 1,155 registered new cases. 419 of the new registered cases were expatriates, 684 were contacts of active cases and 52 were travel-related. The Ministry announced four deaths from COVID-19 today and expresses its heartfelt condolences to the families of the deceased and urges everyone to comply with the guidelines issued by the National Task Force for Combating the coronavirus.